Hi, I'm Gabe Klein, and I'm the author of the future book, Startup City. So we are at a Zipcar location at 11th and G Street in Washington, D.C., downtown. This was a partnership that I worked on when I was vice president of Zipcar here in Washington. This happened around 2004, 2005. And when we could place Zipcars on the street as an extension of the public transit system and people could see them, um, it made it a much more viable option for people as transportation. So all of these new services in cities, whether it be Lyft or car to go or Zipcar, which has been around for a while, or Capital Bike Share, they use some basic technologies. Like right here, uh, proximity card access is important. Using the cell phone network so that, that we can communicate the reservation to the vehicle uh, is crucial. Um, GPS technology, solar technology, modular design, all of these things, people don't necessarily think about it. That's what makes these old technologies, combined with new technologies, makes them frictionless, easy to use systems for the public to get them around our cities. So we are just at this tipping point where we're getting ready to see an exponential rate of change in terms of technological innovation, specifically hardware, that's going to power the future services. Autonomous vehicles and vehicle-to-vehicle -vehicle communication are two of the most important technologies that are coming to the fore over the next few years. We're going to literally be able to merge you know, transportation as a service models like Zipcar, these business models, with autonomous vehicles and very soon, almost nobody in a city will need to own a car. What we're hoping for in cities is that transit, you know, high quality transit, metro service and subway and light rail and bus rapid transit and our arterial buses, that that is the backbone of our transportation system. We hope that we can reallocate even more space uh, because of autonomous vehicles to walking and biking, and that those are the modes of choice for trips under, let's say, three miles. And then for the trips in between, the late night trips, autonomous vehicle taxi type trips make a lot of sense. And people like the convenience of point to point access. There's good data coming out now that shows that services like this encourage people to go car free. From a policy standpoint, we need to make sure that we continue to focus on quality transit, walking and biking, and enable a lot of these new technologies and business models.